Greetings! You will have to forgive whatever chaos I was not able to conceal. And not only am I post-book, I am also post-con, so my life is in shambles. So this is a very special snack time with Odin. I'm doing a swap with the Lady of Feywood. She's another YouTuber who does a lot of DIY, a lot of cosplay, a lot of really, really cool projects. Um, so if you are into that sort of thing, which if you're part of my channel, you probably are, I will leave her links down below, as well as whatever options that YouTube permits me. And, uh, because she's got some really cool stuff, and she also does a lot of makeup-y things, too, so... I have this parcel! Oh my god! And, yeah, I... wow. Um, and I'm not sure what's in here yet. Um, we didn't have too much of a theme... Um, we did sort of some Halloween-y stuff, um, we kind of did sort of a spooky themed sort of, but mostly in the circumstance that we're doing this on, like, Halloween season, so. And as always, before we get started, be sure you are telling me down in the comments below what you are snacking on while you are watching me snack on things, so that I can see if there's anything that I need to be snacking on, and... I like expanding my taste bud horizon. And if you have something from your region that you absolutely need me to try, feel free to check out my P.O. Box. And feel free to send it my way if you would like. So, be sure you've done all that. Subscribe, do all the obligatory youtube -y things, and let us get started. So, upon further opening, there are a lot of satchels. Ooh, we have a note, we have a note, we have a note. Oh! <gasps> Oh my god. Okay, I'm very, very, very excited about this. Okay, we have creature meat jerkies. We have emu, we have Gru, and we have croc. I am very excited about that. Let me see if there's a note in here, because I think I opened it wrong to see if she wanted to explain things. She said it was her suggestion to do a Halloween theme, but it turns out Australia sucks balls for themed candy. <laughs> um... Let's see. And she's also given me instructions on a few things in here. Oh, I'm kind of excited for her suggestions in here. That's awesome. This is going to be cool. Oh my god, thank you so much. This is awesome. And I've got spooky stickers. That's my favorite. I love the animal skulls. Got some cute little things. So she put stickers on all the snacks to make them more spooky. We have a pumpkin. That is so awesome. Okay, so this I am so excited for. Oh my goodness. Um, let's see. Let us... So let's go with the emu first. I have never had emu, but I have had ostrich, and I very, very, very much enjoy ostrich whenever I get that ability. So, let us try. Mmm. That is very rich when it comes to, a, like, a redder meat. Because if you don't know, emu is a redder meat when it comes to... Emu is... Ooh, that's a really nice flavor. It's it's very... Like, on the beefy side, and the seasoning isn't very heavy on this, so you can really tell the meat from here, which is really, really good. This is amazing. Let us try... Oop, that's a big piece. I want a small piece. The kangaroo jerky. Ooh, the seasoning smelled really good in here. It's a little bit on the, um... On the scale of jerkies, it's more on the drier side. Plus, it, it um, kind of has a texture, a little bit of biltong. But let's try this one out. The flavoring on that one is really good. The seasoning is very... It's a little bit on the smokier side, but there's just like a hint of spice to it, and it's really good. And the meat itself is very... Like, I hesitate to say light, but at the same time, it's kind of like... Not as intense, I guess, is the proper way to describe it. Um, like, it's very... Like, it was not a very tough piece of meat. It was very lean, and it was very, like... had a very good mouthfeel to it for jerky. So, that's very interesting. I like that one. And then, bush plum crocodile jerky. So let's try... Whoop! This one's kind of reminiscent of turkey jerky, and I'm hearing that crocodile tastes... Well, at least alligator... I know they're different. Tastes, um, like chicken. So, I've never had any sort of reptile before. So, mmm, that's sweet. 
So that one is definitely the toughest of the three. And that one is also the most mild of the three. That one's kind of interesting. The flavor is very sweet to the seasonings and probably the plum. It's very good. Um, like, I wish I've had turkey jerky so I can compare it. But, um, yeah, it's... Uh, this one takes a little bit with the molars. But um, it's very pleasant. And it's if you enjoy jerky, I recommend it. Oh my god, I'm excited for these. I've heard of these before. I've heard of shapes, but these are Vegemite flavored shapes. And she labeled them as weird ass. Um, these are shaped like the continent of Australia or country of Australia. And she put this spooky thing on there. So, I've heard of these. These are like cheesy crackers, but oven baked, not fried. Our nose shapes Vegemite and cheese. I'm very excited about these. Because I am always into the shaped cheddar crackers. Um, I will demolish a box of goldfish or cheese its like no other. So. Ooh, it smells really good. So here is a shape. It is the shape of Australia. That is adorable. Ooh. Mmm. Okay, dare I say it? I think those were better than Cheez-Its, and that is, like, borderline blasphemy. Oh my god, it's because the cracker, that cracker is really thick. And, um, like, it's more of a, like, almost a Melba toast, but not, and then the Vegemite flavor isn't overpowering. So if you're, like, the type of person that doesn't know if they're going to like Vegemite and they're very scared of it, that is definitely a good gateway. And the cheese on that, oh my god, those are good. Oh, I'm going to be very sad when those are gone. Let's see, what else have we got? We have, ooh, eucalyptus and honey drop bear essence. <laughs> these are so cute. You <laughs> made these little, like, spell potions. Let's see. Eucalyptus can demand all-time favorites. Let's try those. Whoo, yeah, those are eucalyptus. Oh, they smell so good, though. Y'all are very pretty drops. I always like the aesthetic of old-fashioned candy. That's just a weird thing to say, but... You know, with, like, the old-fashioned candy shops were, like, the little jars. They're, like, apothecary jars, but for children, you know. It's very pretty. I was... I'm getting... I'm waxing nostalgic because I used to go to penny candy stores all the time. And I miss them because they're gone. Ooh. Mmm. Let me see the flavor almost. I will be right back once I finish this, because this is pleasant. And I want to experience this. That was delightful. Those are kind of, like, a little bit on the medicinal side. But not, like, very sweet and very, like... I don't know, I've had a lot of uh, eucalyptus fragrances before, and I really like the smell of it. And the taste is pretty much similar, but not, like, in a perfumey sense, if that makes any sense at all. But um, the sweetness just really kind of makes a nice little balance to it. And it's a very nice palate cleanser, too. It's very just like, I'm going to breathe all over everybody. Just to experience this. Just like, <sighs> but anyway, moving on. What have we got? Lollyland Vampire Blood Pops. Okay, these are cute. Look at this aesthetic. Oh my god, I love them. Tongue Painter. Uh-oh. Vampire Blood Pops. All right. We have a lot of these kind of things in America where they definitely paint your tongue. I can't think of a brand offhand, but definitely in the 90s, there's like this paint bucket thing where it was like the lollipop, and I think there was powder in it, but it was just like in a little tin can, and I think you dipped a paintbrush in it, and it just coated your tongue because that's what you wanted when you were a kid in the 90s. You smell almost like yogurt pops or something. Those smell good. Oh man. Lovely red. Mmm. Definitely strawberry. But it's not like a ridiculously artificial strawberry. There's a little bit of artificial in it, but there's a, it's a lot more. I can tell this is a strawberry. It kind of tastes like those old fashioned strawberry. I know I keep going back to that. But those little strawberry candies that you know is in Grandma's candy dishes. The ones that are foil wrapped to look like a strawberry. 
kind of tastes like this. So I'm wondering if the paint is in the center, and I'm not sure if I'm going to want to get back into it. Yep, there we go. Ah, very red. Those are quite delightful. I love it. Yes. Okay. What else do we have here? <gasps> I am very excited. Right, mate. <laughs> oh my god. Ah, uh, I've been out of this for a while, and I'm very excited to have another jar of this. I love it so much. I can't remember what video it was. I think it was another swap that somebody sent me. Yes, it was another swap. Oh my god, I love Vegemite so much. So I am so good. It is really good with like a piece of toast by itself with a little butter or on a fried egg sandwich. That is my jam. Actually, this is literally kind of jam. What else have we got here? We got so much in here. Holy crap. Oh my god. We have more shapes! <gasps> more shapes. I am very excited. These are barbecue flavored shapes. Oh, awesome. Creepy ass shapes. <laughs> oh, man. That's so awesome. So let's try these out. Ooh. Those smell really nice. So these ones are hexagonal. I think. No. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, six. Hexagonal. Mmm. Mmm. They're very, kind of like a tomato-y with a lot of spices to it. Well, not a lot of, like, spice spices, but, like, oregano and things like that. Well, those are good, and it's got a little bit of a hint of a smokiness of it. I am on the wrong side. Open other end. Whoops. No, wait, I did do it right. Holy shit, I followed directions. Flavor, oh, there it is. There's the English. Uh, flour, vegetable oil, salt, tomato, powder, yeast, worst spice, blah, blah. These are really good. Like, I could really get into those. Holy crap. Okay, what else do we have? We have cheese twisties. Or twisties cheese. Twisted. Twisted twisties. Yes, more snacks. Oh my god. Let's try these out. Ooh, they're like Cheetos. Color's a little different. So, they kind of look like crunchy Cheetos. Oh, wow. Oh my god, those are a lot better than Cheetos. Am I committing more acts of blasphemy? That cheese flavor is intense. And it tastes like actual cheese, not like... craft powder, I guess. Those are amazing. Oh my god. Like very intensely cheesy, very intensely salty, too. Those would be so good with some sort of alcoholic beverage, if you're into that. Or a delightful fizzy soda. Those are just going to disappear soon, and I'm going to be very sad. I anticipate more Amazon orders in my future. Oh, that smells so good, too. Those are awesome. Let's see... More on the savory side we have. I am excited. I've heard of these burger rings. And apparently they are of fiery death, so these might be on the spicier side. Ooh. Oh, yes. Oh, I'm so freaking excited. Thank you so much for these. Oh, my God. Ooh. Oh, they're so cute. They're so cute, they're little rings. They kind of remind me a little bit of Funyuns, but not as big. So... Ooh! They're very airy. They kind of remind me of Japanese umaibo. Um, I think they're corn-based, aren't they? Yes, they're corn ba corn and rice-based. Oh, that flavor's really nice. It's very savory and very salty. Yeast extracts, onion extracts, tomato powder, and colors. These are... So it's hard to quantify it. There's like... Very savory, very salty, and at the end there's like also like a bit of sourness, like if, as if it was like ketchupy or something. And um, God, those are addictive. Oh my God, y'all have some amazing snacks. Holy. Okay, we still have more. Jesus. Okay, Fizz Whiz. <gasps> I've heard of this stuff. Not a party without Whiz Fizz on us today. 
tried on the channel before? I don't know. I've tried so much, and I can't pay attention to what I've actually done. So, let us look at these, because I think there's, like, a specific way to eat them. Sherbet! Yep, there's a stick in here. I, I This is very familiar. I think I have tried these before. So there's a stick in here, and you just... Look at this little monster guy. He looks so happy! Oh my god. He broke his stick, so no wonder he's upset. So there is a little spoon. If you didn't know what this was beforehand, this would look very, very suspicious. But, this is a delightful candy. Mm. Ooh, that flavor is so good. It's like powdered sugar. It has the consistency of powdered sugar. And it's just a wonderful, orangey, sour, fizzy, delightful treat. That's awesome, and then like your spit kind of causes the reaction that makes it a little foamy and fizzy, and it's very good. It kind of looks like powdered sugar. Well, it's basically powdered sugar, it's citric acid, and something else. Mineral salts and sugar. This is so awesome. I love these things. Oh, nice. I spilled it on the black shirt. Oh no. We have, what is this thing? More drop bears. Carmelo Ro Koala. Ooh. We have Carmelos here, but they are probably different. So, this one is a koala shaped. I'm going to have to eat this one carefully, I know, because it's going to... Um, I think if it's like a, the Carmelos over here, they're just going to like spill out in caramel. But let's open him up and see how cute he is. Aww. Look at that little guy. I'm going to eat you. And start with the feet, because I am cruel. Oh, is, that, is this Cadbury brand? I believe so. Yeah, dairy milk. I'm going to go under my assumptions until the comments correct me. So. Mm, yep, yep, everywhere. Mmm, God, Cadbury chocolate is so good. And that one is nice because the Carmelo bars over here are really, really thin. Like, the bottom has a decent amount of thickness for the chocolate to be, like, a structurally sound, but it's like a very thin bubble on top where all the caramel is. And you don't really enjoy the balance of it. This one is a lot thicker. Very, very good, and that chocolate is so milky. We have two more bars. Ooh, cherry ripe. Ooh, I think I've heard of these. Ripe, juicy cherries and coconut lusciously double dipped in old gold rich dark chocolate. That sounds fantastic. Have double darkness, double dipped, cherry ripe. It looks like that regular flattened chocolate bar. Let's try this out. Mmm. Ooh. We're gonna have a visitor. Hello. You cannot has. Yeah. Oh, that is really decadent. And you can see the thickness of the chocolate in there. It's a very good, rich, dark chocolate. And it's like a... It's kind of like a Mounds bar, sort of. A lot sweeter. And there's the cherry flavoring in there, which is really good. That is very, very decadent and rich. And... That is amazing. Oh, that is so good. That is probably going to disappear, too. And for the last candy bar, we have a bat bar. Chocito! I'm not sure what this one is, because I haven't read it yet. Chewy caramel fudge, crunchy balls, and loads of, I'm gonna guess, chocolate. That sounds good. Let's see, so there are two bars in here. This looks really good. It's kind of bubbly. That is so good. Ooh, I'm not sure. This is Nestle, so... Mm. Oh, wow. Uh, hello. Please don't sneeze in my face. I would not appreciate that. That is a texture experience, and I like it. So, this is what it looks like on the inside. Around the edge is, like, puffed rice... Or, according to the packaging, crunchy balls. 
and covered in chocolate and really nice milk chocolate. And the inside, it's like a caramely, yeah, chewy caramel fudge. So it's like a kind of like a thicker, like three musketeers. Um, not as soft as a nougat, but definitely has some chew in it. Um, and it's very, very milky, and then towards the end it gets really sweet and caramely, and it is really awesome. That I need to savor, because those are really good. Oh my god. Hi! Hello! Excuse you, sir. Can I help? So, that is a lot. Um, the last two I've saved for last, because I'm going to kind of combine them together... We have Nestle Milo, which I have heard of, but I've never tried. It's like a liquidy drink. Let's see. Three heap teaspoons in cold or hot. So I'm going to go get some almond milk and prepare this. And we also have to go with it Tim Tams. So she's labeled this as Witch's Brew. And Sticky Ghost Goop. I've had Tim Tams before, but I've never had the... Well, there's a lot of flavors of this, and this one I've never had before, which is Chalk Malt and Sticky Caramel Flavor. That sounds amazing. Designed to slam. So, I'm going to go prepare this. I will be back. All right, I am back with a cup of Milo in almond milk, because I don't feel like exploding today. So... Mm. Very good. It was very hard to dissolve. It's kind of interesting. It's not like Nesquik. It's a lot more. I think it actually has actual nutrients in it. So, <laughs> yes. Um, well, it smells very chocolatey, but not like overpoweringly sweet. Ooh, that's delightful. I don't think I put enough in it though, because this is a very small cup, so I wasn't sure. How much to put in there. And it kind of absorbed a lot of the liquid. So it ended up with like a smaller amount. Ooh, I would bet that would be really good uh, warm. I only had it in the cold bit because... I don't know why I didn't warm it up. If I was smart and I thought about it at a time, I would have warmed it up in the microwave. But... It has a pleasant breakfasty drink. Like, it's not too sweet. And I could totally see this being... Um, Something that you could drink with breakfast, and it's it's kind of like a protein shake, but it doesn't taste chalky and mealy and gross like most protein shakes are. So, lastly, we have the Tim Tams to go with this, and I've opened them up, and they smell like a Malteser, and that is just amazing to me. So with this, I'm going to attempt the Tim Tam Slam. So I bite off one corner, I bite off the other corner, and then I drink it up. It is like a malted milk ball cookie, and that is quite delightful. I'm going to put the bigger end in the liquid. Let's see if I can do this properly. Mm. Ah. Nope, I spilled it, and I dropped it. Fuck! I'm trying to do this on camera. Would not recommend. I got it all over me. That is delicious and delightful, and now it's all goopy and messy, and I like it. Huh? Mmm. That is a really good flavor to do that with. Because in the center there's like a thick caramel stripe in there. So as everything is dissolving around it, you get like this nice chew of that caramel. That is a good flavor. Oh my god. And then just a nice cookie goo from like dunking things in chocolate. That is good. And that was a fantastic experience. Oh man. Alright, now I got chocolate all over my face, I think. Eh. Worth it. Alrighty, and that is it for this spooky Halloween snack swap. Thank you so much to the Lady of Faywood for sending this off to me. This was fantastic. Um, a lot of traditional treats that I was so excited to try. And, yeah, that was fucking fantastic. Go over to the Lady of Haywood's channel to see the other treats that I sent her way, and see her impressions of some nice local delectables, especially some traditional candy corn, and Twinkies, because she expressed that she had never tried it before. So, 
Be sure you've told me in the comments down below while you were snacking on, while you were watching me snack on things, so that I can see if there's anything else that I need to snack on. So, let me know in the comments down below what your thoughts are. And be sure to like up this video and subscribe if you want to see more bullshit from me. Check out all my other internet shenanigans. I am releasing a book come Halloween, so feel free to check out that. I've got pre-orders up for the digital version already. Paperbacks will be coming soon. And thank you to all my patrons over on Patreon for your support. If you want to get access to additional jewelry making tutorials that I do not post on YouTube, feel free to check out my Patreon page. All pertinent links will be down below. Thank you all so much for joining me, and of course, if there's anything I need to be trying out right now, feel free to let me know down below, and I will see you next time.